The distinction on, uh, on this issue for OHA is related to the revenue stream because the Constitution and statute provides portions of revenues derived from the ceded lands to be directed to the Office of Foreign Affairs. The larger questions on the claims of Native Hawaiians as a result of the overthrow, which uh, is the issue, related issue in the U.S. Supreme Court now, is the much larger platform of issues on who ultimately has claims, who has title, who should really influence what happens with the ceded lands. OHA's section of this issue relates to the income and proceeds, and only a portion. I mean, there are revenues that they call sovereign and the balance of proprietary type revenues that the state derives from the use, of the use and uh, management of the ceded lands. OHA just derives a portion of per share. Right now it's 15.1 million annually. That's what we are trying to achieve by this 2009 bill. Let's bring these outstanding disputed issues to a resolution.